Here. Welcome back to the Ange Endeavor. Today, I thought instead of going out and vlogging some cool coffee place or a restaurant, I thought maybe we would have tea here. As much as I do love coffee, I also happen to be a teetotaler. And I thought, why not make a nice cup of tea and read to you a poem? What two things go together best than tea and poetry? Now, the poem I'm selecting is actually uh, from a collection of poems uh, that a former mentor and teacher of mine uh, had. She was a teacher and then became a mentor to me in my late 20s. And she loved poetry and art and all those things. And so she collected um, poetry and she made each of the students um, a book of poems that she liked. And so I'm going to read to you from one of those. And I'm also going to show you um, how I make tea here at home. Because as much as I'm a coffee snob, I'm kind of a tea snob too. <laughs> so anyways, um, let's go make some tea. So the first thing we need to do is head into the kitchen here and... Um, I'll show you what I usually do, my little tea making uh, ritual. First, we'll need to boil some water. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna be boiling the tea in this glass tea kettle, which I recently purchased. But you can also, you know, use a, a stovetop tea kettle or even a saucepan, you know, whatever you boil water in. Um, I recently bought this because I was boiling my water in saucepans and I would forget it and then it would boil down and I would just scorch the bottom of the pan. And and this way, what's cool about um, these electric tea kettles is they turn off when the water is boiled. So if you forget about it or you get on the phone and you forget, you don't have to worry about scorching your pans. So, um, and then now I'm gonna be drinking out of this cup. It's a nice little simple white cup um, and I, I love drinking out of this with tea because it really shows the tea off. But I, I also use other cups. So, And I'm going to be using uh, loose leaf tea. And there are um, different tea strainers here. And this is a uh, kind of a canvas tea bag. So it's environmentally friendly and all of that. And... Um, you know, you can use this if you prefer loose leaf tea to take with you to work or school or wherever. Pretty nice and it cinches up and you can wash these. Then we have this strainer here and it can go inside of the cup like that. You put the tea in, pour the water through, let it soak. Let it uh, do its steeping. Or you can have this one which is more like a basket right there. And this one actually, um, I got out of a Starbucks uh, tea cup with lid, and I use it in that too, but um, but I use it in, in all the other cups too. So anyway, so that's those. And these are the tea choices today. So I buy it in bulk, and this is, they're both organic teas. So this is green gunpowder tea. And it really has an amazing smell to it and flavor. And this is um, your basic English breakfast tea. Both are quite amazing. So I like those. They have just a good flavor. I also have, I'll show you. This is um, my little tea drawer here. And I have, I love traditional medicinals. I drink their teas all the time, their herbal teas. Um, like cold and flu season, Echinacea Plus with elderberry is really, really good. And what I do with this one is I'll put it in a, um, a Pyrex uh, measuring cup, like I'll, I'll boil maybe about four cups of water and I'll grate a bunch of uh, fresh ginger, a lot of ginger, and then I'll put a bag or two of this in there and let it steep for about four minutes or so. You know, you can let it steep as long as you want, but for a cold or for cold and flu season or even prevention, 
this is really great. And then I put a little bit of lemon and honey after after it's done steeping. And man, talk about a nice concoction uh, for your tea or for your cold or flu. Okay, let's begin. So I'm gonna go fill this up over there. And um, I'm gonna fill it up. You see that spout right there? So this here is a water filter and it's the Berkey water filter. And what I love about it is that it is uh, filters out like 99.999% of pathogens and things that you don't want in your water, um, all the lead and chlorine. And uh, I, I really like it because, um, you know, you could, if you're like uh, in an emergency situation and you need water, and uh, you, if you use this, it'll just filter pretty much anything out. So this is what I use for filtered water, for cooking and drinking and everything. So let's fill it up. Okay, um, I've got my water in the pot. And I just love this glass when you can see the water in it and you can see it boil. And I'm going to turn it on. That should stay on. And it really doesn't take any time to boil. Quite amazing how fast it is. Which one to have is the question. Do we have the nice green tea? Look at how good that looks. Mm. Or do we have the nice English breakfast tea? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? God, it's a hard choice. Hard choice to make. They both smell so good too. I think today we're going to go for the green. Why not? See, look at that, how quick it was. Our, our water is boiling, and it will shut itself off, but I'll just shut it off right now. Because when you make green tea, the best thing to do is to um, not let it come to a boil. But if it does, uh, just like as soon as it stops boiling, then you pour the tea in. It some, somehow brings out the full bodiness. What I'm going to do for about a cup here, maybe just do a teaspoon of the tea. Or just so it fills the bottom of the um, uh, fills the bottom of the little tea strainer here. So yeah, that's about how much I want. And what's so cool is that when it uh, after it's been heated and steeped, um, the tea, the leaves open up, and you can actually get about three infusions. Um, that's that's what's so great about having really good tea is that the flavor lasts and. Um, you know, you can get a lot more for your bang for your buck. All right, so now let's bring this over here and we'll pour the water. Here we go, all that loveliness. And I can already smell it. It's really quite amazing. Let's see how much that is. That's pretty nice. just a little bit more all right perfect so I'm just gonna let it steep for like 20 seconds 30 seconds and um, I'll put the strainer in a little glass thing I have my my, my whole setup here I do this all the time, so. All right, so that looks about, that looks good, really, really good. Okay. There we go. And there's our lovely green tea ready to consume. All right, so we got our tea made and I think we're ready. All right, so let's head back here. Oh, and by the way, this little guy, his name is Hector. Isn't he adorable? I got him at a little place down in Olympia. I just love it. It's so cute. Well, we're back. And we have our cup of tea. Mmm. I love a good cup of tea, especially in the fall time. Now, our poem. The poem I've selected is by a poet named Rainier 
Maria Rilke, and he was born in 1875, and he died in 1926. This poem is entitled, I Am Too Alone, and it came out of a book for the hours of prayer. Okay, so let us begin. I'm going to be reading it off the screen because um, I don't have it memorized, so, so bear with me. I am too alone in the world and not alone enough to make every minute holy. I am too tiny in the world and not tiny enough just to lie before you like a thing, shrewd and secretive. I want my own will and I want simply to be with my will as it goes toward action. And in the silent, sometimes hardly moving times, I want to be with those who know secret things or else alone. I want to be a mirror for your whole body and I never want to be blind or too old to hold up your heavy and swaying picture. I want to unfold. I don't want to stay folded anywhere because where I am folded, there I am a lie. And I want my grasp of things true before you. I want to describe myself like a painting that I looked at closely for a long time. Like a saying that I finally understood. Like the picture I use every day. Like the face of my mother. Like a ship that took me safely through the wildest storm of all. Thank you for watching and sharing this lovely poem with me. I hope you have a fantastic, lovely rest of your day, and we'll see you later on. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.